You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. We're going to go to the boss. This is uh, the next part in the game. Hello, Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil 4. All right, let's uh, let's let's uh, we're going to get some foreshadowing for some immediate events, some really immediate events. Let's see, we need a uh, we need a cutscene. a salamander it, it, I don't know what it actually is but it looks like a salamander An overgrown salamander with with mouth tentacles oh man you know what that means first boss not exactly my opinion of what I'd be fighting for first boss or Resident Evil but what can I say beggars can't be choosers I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna shoot this nice Sorry if there was baby birds in there, but, you know, gold bangle with pearls. I don't think there was. I don't think Leon's that much of a monster. Although, he does seem to be attacking a lot of the wildlife. Maybe I am a monster. Because, you know, in real life, Leon wouldn't do this. Leon is much more respectable than that. He's a man of class. Also, you know, yellow herbs. We got our full little mixed herb top texture, whatever. We got, we got a... We got an awesomeness mixture right there. It's going to actually boost up our lives. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Um, okay, green herb, barrel, nothing, fine, whatever. Take the green herb. I don't even give a damn. Just, uh, I'm probably just going to save. That's, that's what would be very important at this time. Just saving, make sure everything goes well. Because I know you guys would like to save here. It's a, it's a good opportunity. Believe you me. Because trust me. You're going to be like, oh man, save the content. And then I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to leave the save menu. And then I'm just going to go outside. Oh yes, yeah, uh, let's go fight that giant salamander. But you know, I, I feel like I need more health. Hey, there's fish! Oh man! Free opportunity for fish! Opportunity! Oh my god! Don't shoot the water. Not yet, anyways. You'll die. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Just go and drive. Drive until you, you know, you get to the other side, or at least until the game says that you got to the other side. Far enough. Far enough works. Thing with mouth with mouth tentacles, and he's a jerk. 
know what this guy likes to do, he likes to try to throw you over. And uh, he does this, you know, it looks like it's terrifying. But, you know, you threw a few harpoons in his mouth and he, uh, he, looks, he doesn't do anything. He's actually not that bad of a boss. But if you're a dumbass like me, you'll get thrown into the water regardless. So, you know, be aware. If you do get thrown overboard, you have to swim back to your boat. It's one of the time events. It's not that difficult. There is one variable, and I'll get into that in a second. But, um. Yeah, basically. You just gotta swim to your boat. If you don't make it in time, it's just a game over if you do. Well, congratulations. Anyway, so you stab him some more, because uh, it's not that bad. I recently found out if you're not in harpoon mode, if you're not aiming, you, uh, you can actually control the boat. It makes it a lot easier for everyone, including myself. Before then, I think this boss fight was ridiculously hard. I don't even know why, but for some reason, I didn't even realize that you could actually move the boat. Now that variable I was talking about, say you get thrown into the water. See how I'm throwing a long distance because my health is a lot lower? Yeah, basically depending on your health will determine how far you have to swim your boat. So the higher the health, the better position you will be. The lower the health, oh man, you're going to have to struggle. It's not fun. I'm going to use this mixed herb. Like, I'm going to use this mixed herb and increase my health. And yeah, we're good. We're doing great. I, I had to actually use out the first boss that was stupid. Okay, well, regardless, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna stab this freaking salamander, kill him, Del Lago. You're going down. I don't even care. You can go suck it. And, uh, he's gone. He disappeared. And he's gonna try to kill us. There's not really a whole lot to say on this one, but I've already done. I like the blood that just gushes out of it. Like, it's so ridiculous, it's, it's kind of amusing. Anyways, so we got the epic shot right here, you know, he's just like, he get arrows that kind of signify where he's going to go. Yeah, just stab him twice, once, two, and he's done! Don't relax now, viewers. You got a couple of rooms. Oh man, I hope you cut it fast enough because you're gonna die otherwise. You succeed, you get this, and you watch the boss just slowly fade into the water. It's very symbolic, I'm sure. Foreshadowing, even. a good chapter what's gonna happen next you're gonna have to find out next time all right see you tomorrow